omega-3 fatty acids you need to feel good. The less you control insulin, the more bread, the pasta, the sweets, uh, the pizzas you eat, the more omega-3 fatty acids you need to control the silent inflammation induced by those products. What about exercise? From the moment we enter to the zone diet and do we have to exercise? Because not a lot of people, they are into exercising. Well, remember Manuel Ribi, the man who's the heaviest man in the world. He hasn't left his bed in uh, six years but he lost over 200 kilos. Uh, now exercise, there's a lot of good reasons to exercise. It reduces the likelihood of heart disease, diabetes, you feel real good about yourself, you hang out with nice people. But weight loss is not one of the reasons. Why? The more you exercise, the hungrier you get. So the best exercise, you want to lose weight, walk 15 minutes in one direction, turn around and walk back. Just do it every day. So just jogging and not... No, walking. Just walking, not even jogging. Yeah, just, just basically moving so around. You, you know. believe that is the best exercise for... That's the best exercise for mankind. You know, it's saying that... Um, but, the most, but if your goal is weight loss, it's going to be coming from the diet. Exercise is good because it gives our flexibility. It allows us to build muscles. They give quality of life. But if you don't have health, if you don't have health, all the exercise in the world will be worthless. So I understood that all our problems are coming actually from hormonal disbalance, yes? And hormonal disbalance caused by the food we eat. And, uh, but that's the bad news. The good news is we can reverse that within 30 days. And that's, that's, uh, that's a powerful statement, but yet, but because we had to realize that everything that our grandmother told us, she said, eat small meals, not large meals. She said, have some protein at every meal. She said, never leave the table until you eat all your vegetables. And the last thing she said, take your fish oil. Who knew she was at the cutting edge of 21st century biotechnology of how to modify gene expression? But, but she was the, uh, you know, the compendium of you know, you know, many millennia of observations of what foods to eat to maintain your health. We just basically have gotten away from grandma's wisdom because in a time-compressed world, the time to make good food, the time to eat good food, has become a lost art. We have to reclaim that if we want a better quality of life as we age. If there is anything that you would like to add in our conversation. Well, I, I tell people when I travel around the world, do not repeat the same mistakes we made in America of you know, our, this whole problem of the silent first started in America because we are the world's best and cheapest producers of refined carbohydrates and omega-6 fatty acids. And uh, that's why our healthcare system is in such disarray because we are the fattest, most inflamed, and sickest people in the world. So don't let the same mistakes happen. Uh, but if you're not careful, uh, then those things which you see in America will be on your shores in a very short period of time. Like here in Cyprus, I was reading today, that they estimate by the year 2015 that two-thirds of all Cypriots will be overweight or obese. That wasn't the case 30 years ago. Uh, but what happened in a very short period of time? Globalization of food ingredients. So again, you have here in Cyprus the most, you know, you have this abundance of fruits and vegetables you have some of the best olive oil in the world. You're surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea, plenty of fish, rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Just use the knowledge of how to put those food ingredients together, and you now have a drug, uh, almost a magic elixir, that basically will allow you to live better and longer. Dr. Sears, I thank you so much for spending your time and answering those questions. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you.